Hello everyone, welcome back to Shaving with Peg Leg. Welcome to my barber shop. Alright, today what I have for you is for thirteen or twelve dollars thirty-five cents, this is wood tax, shipped to my door, the Hashir razor. This is another razor in the twelve to fifteen dollar razor range. It came I've already had this out. I've already cleaned it and sterilized it. Scrubbed it with toothpaste, as I usually do with a toothbrush, and then soaked it in Barbasol for a little bit. Um, it came with there's a five pack there and another five pack here. Supermax Platinum is made in India. And it also came with a little pouch that had this brush in it. I didn't measure it. I forgot. I will measure it and put it in the description box. It's just a cheap injection molded plastic handle. Has almost no weight to it. And it's a black synthetic knot. Nothing, nothing fancy. Today we'll be using Future Fiction, and I have the splash for it also. Need about 10 squirts of water in that. But yeah, I figure for. I'll, leave it, I'll uh, put the weight and the measurement of the razor in the description box too. I'll do all that after the shave. I'll measure it all out. I forgot to do it before. Um, it's light, but can, can you hear that? It's it's sticking to it. It's sticking to the magnet. And the base plate is steel also, but the cover plate is not. The cover plate is some other metal. So that top plate is not, but the bottom plate is. And look how thin that is. That head, if you have, if you find razors give you a problem getting underneath your nose and you shave under your nose I guarantee you that one will not give you a problem doing that I had originally ordered the gold one they had one in gold and silver I originally ordered the gold one but they sent me an email saying that they were so sorry they were out of the gold And asked if silver was okay. And I was like, whatever, I don't care. They're both the same, just one silver, one gold. This CK6 formula loves water. I cleaned the brush when it came in yesterday. I, uh, I soaked it overnight in hot water and hair conditioner. And then I took it out and put a couple drops of shampoo in my hand and lathered it up real well. Got the conditioner out of it. That should work. It's a synthetic brush. It really could have just been washed and then put up to dry. It really didn't need all that extra. But it's just my normal thing. It's like this. Anytime I get a new razor and I scrub them down and then put them in the barber saw for five minutes or so. Neutrogena shave cream for pre-shave 
as usual. most likely will help. I take a blade and put it in the razor. And I've already got a washer on it. I put a washer on all my razors now. I don't know where I first saw that being done at. It, it was somebody's video but I can't remember whose video it was. And I was like, you know what? That's a hell of a good idea. Because to me, it also adds just a little extra level of tightness. See, the head, can you see on the corners? It's got the four pins. Can you see that? And then when you put the blade on, it catches the blade on the corners like that. I don't believe I just did it again. <sighs> After the video, I'll be picking up another washer off the floor. I left, I left the bottom plate sitting on the counter like that blade would go here and I left the washer on top and I just picked it up without putting my finger on the washer and dumped the washer onto the floor. Dumbass. This razor is light but it is also thin. It's got a little weight to it. It's not a lot because it's short. It's almost like a travel razor. And that head is super thin. But let's see. Nice lather. Oh yeah. This is just a cheapy brush. I mean, what do you, what do you expect when you pay twelve thirty-five for a razor with ten blades and a brush? You, I didn't expect to get a high-quality brush at all. But I figure if they're going to throw one in, I'll take it. What the hell? So if you're just starting out and you need a razor and a brush and some blades, you got ten blades, three shaves of blade. You got a month, and if you have to shave every day, you got a month's worth of shaves. For twelve thirty-five. So here we go for this. Yeah, I had to get way up here, Mara. I told you I was starting to feel hairs coming in up there. On my uh, Wednesday head shave video, which took two and a half days to post. Flip in YouTube. I had to cancel the upload. I had to cancel the processing on it. It uploaded in 42 minutes. But the processing, I had to stop it four times. Well, no, I stopped it three times.
decent blade feel from this. A very decent blade feel. And you know what? If I had to do a one pass and go to work, I'm done. Th this, this would pass. If I was in a hurry in the morning and I threw some barbasol on my face and used that razor, I'd be good to go. That's not why we do it, is it, gentlemen? We do it because we like the hobby of shaving. We like making ourselves clean and presentable to the world. And especially our loved ones, right? All right, across the grain. The Supermax isn't bad at all. It's not a bad blade. <sighs> Whoa. Well, I was supposed to go out to dinner tonight, but that got canceled. We were going to celebrate my aunt's 80th birthday and she had to cancel because she ended up going in for tests because she had something wrong with her stomach. They released her, but they wanted her to come back tomorrow. Oh, that was wrong, wasn't it? to go up. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. Except, I think. I'll tell you what. This base plate, these corners right here, are sharp. So if you buy this razor, you might want to take a file to those and round them a little bit. It has very, very, very little overhang on that blade. So I might, I might, I might actually take this out when I go out to smoke my pipe again and take this. But then I'm worried about ruining the finish on it. So I don't know. I'll probably leave it. I'll just leave it and just be aware of it. You know, the CK6 is, is nice soap. Over his previous formula. But honestly... I don't see a $10 difference between this and the previous formula. I don't see enough of a difference to make it worth an extra 10 bucks. But that's just me. You may, I don't. Oh, I got some red on the towel. Where did that come from? Well, right here. Yeah, this, I got, I, I felt the corners hit me a couple times on this. I'll tell you what I did yesterday, though. I ordered another razor. It won't get here until, they say, between November 29th and December 29th. 
from it's coming from China. But this razor is so odd looking. It's a double edge, but the, it is so odd looking when you see it. It's it's cheap. It's not even the ten fifteen dollar range. It's like an eight dollar razor. No, oh, actually, I got it for six ninety nine plus tax. So like seven forty three or something like that. I paid for it, but. I bought it strictly because the handle is just so odd looking that you have to have one of these in your collection. What is that? I keep catching right there. This is one of those razors. It shaves well. It shaves really well, actually. But it's got manufacturing flaws, design flaws in it, where these corners are so pointed that they, they, they catch you. You don't cut yourself with a blade. You cut yourself with these corners. So... So it's one of those razors when you use it, you have to be fully aware of what the hell you're doing or you're going to stab yourself with those corners. See, I caught myself twice with it. And neither one of those are blade cuts. Those are from the corners. I'm just going to get myself a once over in my usual spots. Now, usually, you know, I always say watch the overhang around your ears. Watch the corners around your ears. The overhang is not going to get you on this razor, but the corners will. I just want to see if we can do an across the green with it without stabbing myself. Every time I hit this, I feel like I'm hitting a bump. So this, it has lifted the skin. Let's take that out of there. So this is a razor you do not want to go fast with because you'll tear yourself up with those corners. And gentlemen, I'm smooth. Not a not a piece of stubble to be found. It shaves well. It's just those corners are flipping 
little daggers. And you don't want to get caught with them by them. That, that would be the only thing is you wouldn't want to shave fast with this razor because the corners will get you but other than that it's a good shave and the only I think I'm not 100% sure so far I'm leaning towards not doing any more butterfly style, any more twist to open besides the one touch. Strictly because uh, I have three vintage twist to open razors. Um, it's just that to me, they don't hold the blade in tight enough. And, the, and you can feel the blade doing a little bit of chatter work in there. Just a little bit. It's just because they just don't hold it tight enough. They hold it tight, but not as tight as a three-piece or even a two-piece will. So, I'm probably not going to do any more butterflies. Because we're trying to find the most comfortable and the best shave. Good shave. Really good shave. Great shave. BBS shave. Not the most comfortable shave. Okay, this blows it out of the water. This blows it out of the water. Strictly because of those points. You don't want to deal with those points. But what the hell? I got a brush with it and ten blades to play with, so I like the blades. That was just my Walgreens plain witch hazel. And now the future fiction sample aftershave oops that happens a lot with those a little bit too much came out not much So I'll be doing my head shave tomorrow, not today. Like I said, I was going to do both today. But since I'm not going to dinner tonight, I won't be doing them both today. Otherwise, I would have already shaved been getting ready to go out the door. Come on, get back in there. There you go. It's no my luck. I knocked the damn thing over and spill it all on the floor or on the counter. All right. Nivea Max Hydration for men. Well, oh, yeah, that feels good. See, those closed right up. Between the, the alum and the witch hazel, closed right up. And then, of course, the uh, aftershave helped too, but... Alright. The Hashir razor, it'll do baby butt smooth. If you've got time to shave, and you shave careful, because like I said, those corners will get you. They did on me twice. It'll give you a good shave, real good shave. And for $12.35,
and you also get a brush and ten blades up to you gentlemen I mean we can all use an extra brush right even a chippy cheapy so you know what can I say the thing works you need to get under your nose, you have a problem getting under your nose, that'll do it. You see how thin that head is? That will get under there, buddy. Let me tell you what. All right. I trimmed this up today, too. Oh, no, I spoke too soon. It's open again. Okay. So what we'll do is just... Do that and just let it sit and let it take care of it all right gentlemen I will see you tomorrow for the head shave but for the his razor for 1235 with a brush and ten blades not a bad buy if you're not in a hurry to shave if you can take your time you'll be fine all right we're done with the fat guy in the camera your turn in the seat happy shaves out there all